a common human tendency is to see design in things that really aren't designed. A classic example of this is the face on Mars, which at first glance appears to be an alien humanoid face, complete with nose, eyes, and a mouth. However, on closer inspection, the appearance of design breaks down, and under higher resolution, the illusion of design completely fades. Now, when we look to life, we do find an appearance of design. Uh, for example, the eye functions as a, it is analogous to a human-designed camera. The heart uh, appears to be a pump, uh, and there are other similar examples. So the question is, uh, is the design that we see in biology, is it merely an illusion or is it really design? We can begin by seeing what happens when we look at life under higher resolution. That is, at the level of the individual cell, does the appearance of design disappear or is it still there? And of course it turns out that when you look at the individual cell, the design signal is still there. And the, the interesting thing is that when you look beyond the level of the cell and look at the actual molecules in the cell, the design signal is amplified to a very high degree. You find uh, molecular machines that function as true machines. It is not merely an analogy in this situation. They really are machines. And you find all sorts of uh, functions and... and uh, systems that really strengthen the, the design signal and because of this I think it is reasonable to be suspicious of intelligent design now this does not mean that intelligent design and evolution are at odds it merely means that it is reasonable to be suspicious that intelligent design has played a role in the history of life on earth in some way and so this, of course, does not amount in any way to a proof of intelligent design. Um, it merely amounts to a clue that possibly there is something more to life than purely uh, non-teleological forces.